Welcome back to What Is Ken Doing? You have not yet seen the video that I filmed yesterday about these two vehicles uh, because I haven't had a chance to edit that uh, that footage and get it up on YouTube. Uh, so I just decided to do a really quick video um, on, I'm just using my iPhone and this will automatically upload. But um, <clears throat> watch for that video on those two things uh, here in the next couple of days. But I was at Walmart earlier today, and I uh, happened to walk past the spray paint aisle, and um, I found <clears throat> this uh, Krylon Color Master Cover Max, and this color is called Gloss Citrus Green. Uh, get there, it goes. Uh, and so when I saw that, I decided that I know what my next uh, basically box stock build is going to be, because I've been waiting um, to find this color or something close to this color for the build. So uh, that is this kit right here. AMT 75 Gremlin X. Picked this kit up several months ago and um, I knew that that was the color, that lime green uh, that they used on the Gremlins back in the 70s. Uh, that's what I wanted to build this car. So I'm just going to do a real quick uh, kit review for you on this one um, and let you know that I actually am still alive and uh, am uh, at the, ben the, the bench at least occasionally uh, for stuff. So here goes the, the review. Uh, the first thing uh, when you open the box is, uh, of course, it's got the, got the body. And um, this is a repop uh, kit, so I expected that it was going to have a little bit of flash on the on the molds, and it does. It's not terrible, um, but um, it's got uh, you know just the typical little stuff on the edges. Not nothing that's going to be too bad to work with. Certainly not like the 55 Nomad. But uh, anyway, this is the the body. Uh, got pretty nice mold lines on it. Doesn't look like there'll be a whole lot of body work to go with it, and it's got a full chassis pan. Uh, that um, actually does not have the exhaust or the rear end molded in, which is really nice. So that's that one. Um, also, it has a complete set of tires, including the uh, Racemaster uh, drag slicks. And uh, so I am not going to use those on the Gremlin, so they're going to go in the parts box and get saved for something like a Chevelle. So I was excited to see those because they're like uh, I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks uh, for the box of eight of those uh, from the hobby shop so that's those the clear parts uh, comes with the clear plastic it also comes with the blue uh, lens mirrors or, excuse me the blue um, windshields if you're going to go full custom and then of course it's got the taillights made into it also um, as far as the chrome tree goes it's got um, your bumpers, it's got some exhaust side pipes uh, there, it's got some custom wheels and engine parts, and uh, of course the grill, and then it's got the stock wheels uh, right there, which would be like your their stock wheels, but they're like the upgrade over the hubcaps. So um, all, all together, pretty nicely molded, uh, not very much flash at all on the chrome parts, so that'll be nice for assembly. Next bag of parts includes uh, engine parts, um, wheel parts. It's got uh, two different hoods. It's got the, fa the factory stock hood. It's also got a race hood with a scoop on it. And uh, looks like it's got the firewall and some other custom option parts as well. And then the uh, last bag in there has uh, the transmission. It's got the seats in there. Uh, it's got the nose dashboard. Uh, dashboard is, is pretty nice. It's got a pretty decent detail to it. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult to pick out the detail uh, when I get to painting it, but um, it, it's, they at least made an attempt. And then of course the rear end uh, is in there, the exhaust. Uh, there's exhaust headers as well uh, to do. So that's that. And then in the bottom of the box um, we've got just the regular uh, brochures that are in there. Um, there is actually kind of a cool little sticker. I'll put this uh, up there with all the rest of the stickers that I collect um, as well. A uh, little paper bumper sticker type thing. So that's kind of cool looking. And then uh, typical uh, Repop AMT instruction pack. Um, you know, not a whole lot of detail in there. Just basically the pictures and... Uh, it does give you a little bit of detail options 
for uh, what you might like to do uh, with the custom stuff as well. Uh, so that's that. Um, it's got, uh, actually, let's see if we can get this without me opening it up. Um, you can kind of see through there. It's got a lot of nice racing decals that I'll save uh, for other projects. Uh, may use the body graphics, but I'm probably not going to use the race decals for this particular build. And then, um, you know, more advertisements. And it's got a little uh, box art uh, gimmick thing here where um, you can actually, that's on cardstock, you can cut that out and form that back into a box to add to your diorama as well. So, all together, I'd say this is going to be a pretty fun kit. Um, I don't think it's going to be real difficult. Plenty of room for options uh, here. And, um, you know, who? what's not to like about an ugly old AMC Gremlin? Um, this one will look really nice sitting on the shelf when it's done uh, next to the AMC Pacer that I also have to build. Um, and that one I'll probably do in like a Wayne's World uh, motif or something like that. So, uh, again, watch on YouTube here in the next couple of days for the video about the BMW and the tractor trailer repair that I'm going to do. And um, I would recommend looking into this AMC Gremlin kit. Again, it's an AMT Retro Deluxe Edition. Uh, it's a repop, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Let us know what's going on in your world. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. And until next time, this is Ken with What Is Ken Doing. We'll talk to you later.